wrapping up uh, tighten up the strut master cylinders back in place brackets tightened down upper bolts on harness is connected dog bones are back on batteries hooked back up uh, leave your battery disconnected for one to two hours on these it resets the computer these cars some of the newer ones have tap shift which may need to be reset by the dealership I'm not sure exactly how that works but you might want to look into that uh, lube guard I use this on all the transmission jobs or transmission repairs I do I've been using it 12 to 15 years and it's awesome they say one uh, little bottle for 10 quarts with uh, transmission pan drop on this and the filter it takes eight quarts put seven in and then check it on this car I did break this vacuum hose off of the uh, evap solenoid it's the first time I've ever done this probably from dropping the engine too far sideways to prevent this you might want to disconnect your fuel lines this evap solenoid and some other stuff that might be in the way so be aware of that like I said that's the first time this has happened to me uh, this job is done check for fuel leaks since there might have been some tugging on those lines make sure your brakes are good check for leaks and check your steering too uh, wiggle it back and forth before you drive the car on the road make sure it's nice and tight like it was you may have to align your car after this job the cradle may have shifted when you pull the bolts out of it so be aware of that hopefully this video turns out this is a pretty long video I think um, my camera angles kind of sucked but We'll see how it turns out, and maybe I'll have to redo it in the future. But I think I got about two and a half hours in this job with the camera shooting, which I've done a lot of these. I've probably done 12 to 14 this year alone. Your first job, first time doing it, expect maybe a whole weekend, one to two days. The hardest part is that swivel joint in the steering. You'll fight with that for who knows how long, if you can even get it back together. So you saw how long I fought with it, and I've done it many, many times. So be aware of that. Feel free to comment, and I'll let you know how this job turns out, whether or not this fixes the transmission or if it's uh, condemned. did drop the pan. There was quite a bit of clutch material in there, so we'll see.